Okay, in this video I just want to talk about finding vector equations of lines. Um, and the idea, the formula is, so the vector r, if it goes through the point little x sub 0, y sub 0, z sub 0, and we want the equation of the line with some, um, you know, some given direction, the formula for that is we use r sub 0 plus t times some vector v. And two things here. The idea is v is parallel to the line. Okay, so vector v is just any vector that has the same, um, the same direction as the line that goes through the point. It can be any length that it wants to be as long as it's parallel. And this r sub 0 is just a position vector that points at the point that the line should go through. Okay, so I don't know if it's worth mentioning kind of the way that I remember this. Um, so let me erase my picture. If you think about point slope formula, y equals mx plus b, I'm going to write it as b plus um, uh, mx, or I could write it as b plus xm. So instead of writing y equals mx plus b, I'm going to rewrite it like this. It's kind of analogous to me. It's not, you know, it's not the same, but this is a way for me to remember it. In uh, slope-intercept, B is a point that the line goes through. Well, it's actually a very specific point. It's the y-intercept. And instead of the y-intercept, now we're just kind of using a generic, you know, again, it's, it's a position vector. But to me, I think basically instead of B, we're using sort of a, a, a point on the line. And, okay, so t is our variable. We usually use t when we use variables for vectors. So instead of our variable x, we have our variable t. m represents the slope of the line. In three dimensions, we don't talk about slopes. But this vector v is parallel to the line. So just like m sort of tells you the direction of the line, the slope tells you the direction, which way you're going, this, this v that's parallel to the line, it's also going to specify the direction that the line's going. Okay, so I don't know. At least that's how I remember it. Maybe it's just confusing. Who knows? Um, but okay, so let's do two problems here. We're going to find a vector equation for the line that goes through this point 1, 0, negative 3, and is parallel to the vector 2i minus 4j plus 5k. And then we're just going to find a vector equation for a line that goes through two points. So two problems, neither of which I think are going to be um, hopefully too terribly miserable. Um, so in the first problem here, um, give myself a little room. So I can remember my other problem here because I'm about to erase it. The first one is uh, really very easy. Um, so it says our vector v is going to be a position vector that points to a point plus t times a vector v that's parallel. Well, we know that this point 1, 0, negative 3 is on our line, so the position vector that would go to that point would be 1, 0, negative 3. Um, we drop in our t, and now it's easy. Again, we need a vector v that's parallel, but they tell us that um, I mean, we're given for free that this vector is parallel. So we can, remember, we can write it in component form as 2, negative 4, um, and 5. So that's all I'm going to drop in there, 2, negative 4, and 5. And if you want to, you could rewrite this. So this is 1, 0, negative 3. Remember, if you multiply out front, you have to distribute. So the t will get distributed to everything. So we get negative 2t minus 4t, um, and then we'll get 5t. And with vectors, you add them a component, uh, each component. So we'll get simply 1 minus 2t, we'll get negative 4t, and then when we add, we'll get negative 3 plus 5t. Um, so this is a vector equation. Um, that represents the line that goes through the point 1, 0, negative 3 and is parallel to the specified vector. Um, you could even specify, sometimes they'll ask about the parametric um, equations for the line. So the 1 minus 2t, that would be the parametric form for the x-coordinate. 
negative 4t would be the parametric form for the y-coordinate, and negative 3 plus 5t would be the parametric form for the z-coordinate, just in case somebody asks that or you see that in a problem. No big deal. Okay, so let's do our other problem here real quick. Um, so now we simply want the vector that goes um, through the point 1, 3, 2, um, and negative 4, 3, 0. Okay, so already when I fill in my vector equation, I can use either one of these points. So I'll just use the 1, 3, 2. And then we need our plus t times. Well, now we need a vector that's parallel. But remember, if our vector goes from the point 1, 3, 2, um, the direction here doesn't matter at all. So I'm just going to pick one to the point negative 4, 3, 0. Remember to find this vector. We simply re uh, subtract respective components. So I would take negative 4 minus 1, 3 minus 3, and 0 minus 2. So it looks like to me we would get negative 5, 0, negative 2. That would be the equation um, of the vector that connects the point 1, 3, 2 to negative 4, 3, 0. Um, well, certainly it's parallel to the line that goes through the two points. Um, so now I can just use this negative 5, 0, negative 2 as my parallel vector. So I'll simply drop that in there negative 5, 0, negative 2. And again, if you wanted to, you could do the same thing. So you would get 1 minus 5t. It looks like we would get 3 plus 0t. And then we would get 2 minus 2t as an equation for the line that goes through those two points. OK. Um, all right, nothing too bad, you know. It's again to find the equation of a of a line, all you need basically is you need a point that goes through the line. And instead of writing it in the point form, you just write it as a vector. Um and again, the other the only other thing you need instead of the slope, we just need the direction that the line is facing. Um and that's what this other vector tells us. So, all right, I hope this video makes some sense. If you have any questions or comments, as always, feel free to post them.